What's up everyone? John Steele here with Team Steele San Diego Homes for another episode of Get Real with Real Estate. I think this is episode 53. And today I'm gonna to be talking about supply and demand and the job growth in California and how that basically affects supply and demand. And the idea for this video came about um, once a month, us real estate agents, we get like a real estate magazine. I don't know if you guys can see this. And I was flipping through it and something caught my eye and it was specifically about the number of added jobs per added housing unit in California, California counties from 2010 to 2016. And this is really interesting because as many of you know in San Diego and really probably across the country, but really San Diego and some of the major cities in California as a whole are experiencing it the most is the prices are going up it is becoming much, much less affordable to buy a single family home or really properties in general. And it's putting a lot of pressure on people. And a lot of people are wondering like, hey, you know, when, when are the prices gonna come down? When are we gonna get a break? And it's hard to say because nobody really knows, but I tell people really the biggest thing that's driving the market right now is the lack of inventory. There are just quite literally not enough housing units for the amount of people that want to live here. And that's on the buying side. That's also on the renting side. Um, there's just quite literally more people that want to live here than there is available for places to live. And that's what's pushing prices up. And when I was scrolling, not scrolling, flipping the old school way through this magazine, um, I noticed this and I'm going to see if I can get it to show, see if you can get it here. So I'll hold it there. So this is talking, about the number of housing units that were added and then the number of jobs that were added. And uh, where's San Diego? So San Diego, right here. So we got this line right here. And I'll just read it for you guys. So in from 2010 to 2016, San Diego had a 13.4% increase in jobs. Now in that same period of time, we had a 4.3% increase in housing inventory. So that's a difference in 9%. So for every 2.9 jobs that came to San Diego, only one housing unit was added. So almost three times as many people, you know, coming for jobs and only one place for them to live. So you now have three people competing for the same amount of inventory, right? So that's ultimately the big thing that's driving prices right now is like there is not enough units. So there are things that are happening that are trying to you know curb that, one of them being the accessory dwelling unit. We obviously talked about that before. Um, Melissa and I am actually standing in, this is an ADU right here, um, but that's one of the things that was passed to try and encourage people to add inventory and supply to the market. Um, to hopefully get people building more units, building more multi-units, um, just getting more places for people to live and people to rent. Um, but really, we need more properties being built in general, more multi-units, um, more affordable housing. A lot of the stuff that's getting built right now um, in San Diego is higher-end stuff, like luxury stuff. That doesn't necessarily help the market out, especially for people who are trying to just get into that you know, first time home buyer, really entry level market um, that most of us, that many of us are shopping in. Um, so it's just one of those things that I hear people talking all the time, like, oh, you know, I'm just waiting for the market to come down. I'm waiting for the market to shift. You know, yes, markets are cyclical and we probably will experience a shift sometime in the next couple of years. Who knows when that's gonna be? Um, but really until we see more inventory getting added, I don't foresee, the market really slowing down too much, especially right now, interest rates are extremely low. Um, some, of the, some of the lowest they've been in years. Um, so for buyers, that's a really good opportunity for you right now to take advantage of low interest rates. Um, and then with prices being what they are, I mean, sellers are obviously liking that too. Um, we've definitely seen the market heating up a lot as we head into what's traditionally the busier time of the year, spring, summer. Um, you know, we've been putting offers in and it's, we've been competing against, you know, 10 plus offers on some of these properties. And, um, you know, I don't know, it's, it, it's, it's interesting to see. Um, it will be interesting, interesting to see how things play out as things go on. Um, you know, more development getting slated, seeing if the cities around California, um, you know, change any of their zoning laws. Like I said, 
Um, getting more lax in the zoning, allowing for more development, allowing for more multi-unit denser um, building would be helpful. Um, because until, like, like I said, you know, until we really see a strong push of adding inventory to the market, it's, it's going to be hard. We're going to keep seeing those prices getting driven up. I mean, if, if every three jobs you have coming in, you're competing for one thing, I mean, it goes to the highest bidder, right? So we see prices just going up and up as, you know, the competition increases. So, um, yeah, very curious. When I read this, I thought it was very interesting. Um, again, this only goes to 2016, so I'd be curious what the last two years, um, if that's shifted at all. But once again, 13.4% increase in jobs from 2010 to 2016, and only 4.3% increase in housing inventory over that same period. So a difference of 9%. Um, so yeah, it's not unrealistic to think that if you're trying to rent a place or buy a place, you're probably going to be competing against other people. So hope you guys enjoyed this Get Real with Real Estate, talking about job growth in California and how it's affecting the supply and demand uh, in the market. Uh, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. Uh, check us out on our Instagram. We're always posting videos at steelsandiegohomes.com, and you can find more videos and stuff like this on our Facebook page and YouTube. Um, catch you guys later on the next episode. Hope you have a good one.